Crime trends annually show a remarkable spike in burglaries over the festive season. George, not his real name, is a reformed career burglar who operated in a syndicate and was in and out of jail for 10 years. Agile, he enters this house within 60 seconds, catching even me unaware. <laughs> You made it. <laughs> so, George, you're saying that this is actually not a good idea, having furniture lying around like this. Yeah, you can get up better. You just pop things on top of each other, easy movable stuff. H how fast do you need to be to be able to do this? Yeah, you move quite quick. You don't think about it. You just climb. You get used to it. The quicker, the better. I'm not going to try that, though. <laughs> George is imparting his experience and knowledge to protect citizens' homes, but also their lives. But the purpose of this program is not to educate the criminal, because this is stuff they already know, but it's to educate you too. George's skill set is exactly what veteran independent security consultant Renford Brand uses to test a home's intrusion points. I found out that, you know, the obvious thing to do because of my operational background is actually to test the system and do intrusions, which is the quickest way of identifying weaknesses in systems. And As a former intelligence officer in the Navy, he protected South Africa's national borders and assets. So you went from protecting the country and national key points to securing teddy bears, cars and family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it became a passion of mine, particularly with the... Uh, security of homes and individuals and estates, which is a little bit more personal. If you look at the crime stats, the biggest threat to people in South Africa is burglary. Former police officer Professor Rudolf Zinn lectures at UNISA in the Department of Police Practice and specialises in acts of violent crime. He's interviewed hundreds of incarcerated offenders who provided advice on how to deter home invaders. They call it the University of the Underworld. Um, if you go into prison, you are astonished to find out how intelligent they are, the, the ability to plan properly. The difference between a burglar and a robber is that a burglar wants to get in and out quickly, whereas a robber plans to stay at the house for a longer period and is willing to resort to violence. You get your amateur uh, opportunistic criminal and you, and you get your syndicates. And to mitigate the risks, one needs to have a, a layered security system in place. Our research looks at commonly used methods to deter criminals to see how effective they are. Become active in local neighbourhood watch groups. When the burglars and the robbers decide they need to go to a specific area, look at access control, look at visible security, and that plays a 68% deterrence factor for them, whether they would actually go to another neighbourhood will concentrate on this one specific one. Choose homes on street corners, not in dead ends or the middle of the block. It's easier for them to commit a burglary here than on the street corner itself, because here they can see people approaching. Studies show fences are better because walls help the criminals remain undetected for longer. And I haven't ever seen a fence that could not be breached. So fences are not there to keep them out. It's very difficult for them to get over a fence like this with an unstable top. This is not sturdy, so it's very difficult to actually get it stabilized and get over. This is a typical step ladder that they would be able to step on, and you would actually see them getting on top and climbing over. High walls and fences can actually attract criminals. So is there anything specific that would make you choose one house over the other? Sometimes you look for the most secured fencing, secured houses, because you think there's more valuables inside that house than the house that's just easy to jump over. The one has money, the other one doesn't have any money. So, Renford, you're saying there's also an alternative way of securing your house, going a bit more green. You can have a very good barrier in the form of different types of, of, of uh, thorny edges. Mm -hmm. This one is a bougainvillea, and believe me, you won't get through that without a tremendous amount of pain. Electric fences aren't lethal, so at worst, a criminal could just endure the shock and jump over. So this is an electric fence. Most houses have them and think that they're secure. This is about 9,000 volts. But let me give you some shocking news. You probably think that it's a deterrent. Let's find out if George can get over it and how safe you are. And just like that, he's over the fence within seconds. Preferably at, a, at an angle slightly out, out but so out, 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 out like leading yes. outwards. Yes. Otherwise, the height, the height is often that, that's the most important thing. But it's it's advantage to be at an angle out, yeah.
Ensure gates have a stopper preventing them from being lifted. Two or three of them would grab the gate, lift it off of the truck and then just walk open with the gate. So this is what you need to do to prevent it. Contrary to popular belief, CCTV cameras aren't a deterrent, but play a role in collecting evidence after an incident. Nowadays, things have gotten so sophisticated that a camera like this, you can talk through it, you can see and you can hear what's happening. And with something like this, you can use the world-famous South African deterrent, Futsek, while he's trying to jump over. Install different kinds of beams, bright lights, and connect these to alarm systems. Criminals don't want attention. So anything like this that would pick up movement, this would attract the attention of the people inside the house. Even if you walk slowly, it should pick you up. Disguise beams and ensure they aren't visible like this. Bright lights and noisy alarms, as shown here, are definite deterrents. If you time to react, this is a little screamer. So you just... Okay. How much does one? Oh, how much does one of these things cost? Now this is the VG, mm. 150 bucks. Small yappy dogs kept inside the house are actually more of a deterrent than dogs kept outside, which can be easily overcome or poisoned. They explained it, saying that they time their crimes to take place when people are awake inside the house in the morning, five to seven; in the afternoon, five to eleven. People haven't switched on the alarm system as yet. So there's nothing that can be a pre-warning system. And there the dog inside the house would then alert the owner to somebody that's an intruder outside. Burglars often look for easy access points like doors and windows without burglar bars. And then a window like this, how would you be able to, would you be able to get into one of these? Yeah, it's very easy. You just use a screwdriver. You slide it open. How safe is this? You see, you can use the spade like a stepping ladder. Hold on, I'm going to try this. So from here, yeah, yeah, and then to, the, the right to there, to yeah. there. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Up, 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 there you and go. it's true, you can actually do this, eh? So don't put a spade a anywhere. Spade <laughs> Does the brick, the, 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 the wall of a house also help in any yeah, way? of course. It's like climbing. You can grip on it. You can step on it. The smoother, the better, obviously, because then you can't get a grip on it. Have a predetermined safe room with access to a panic button or phone. If you cannot get there in time, do not be confrontational. The best that they can say is, if you once you're faced with a firearm, don't do anything that's going to simulate self-defense. They're willing to use lethal force. If they are able to get to the door of the house, for example, and if they open the door and then only the alarm would sound, they would still come with the robbery. The best defence is a layered and unexpected system that focuses on deterrence as early as possible.